and then oh we have automation go hi guys today we're gonna have an amazing chapter about this product that you're seeing right here and its combination with the software that will blow your mind stay tuned okay guys so what do we have here? We have here the old Digi Design Command 8 interface developed to control Pro Tools in the early 2000s. It was a very expensive unit that was designed to be the centerpiece of the studio controlling Pro Tools rig. Um, it also has a big brother, I think Command 24, and there are the bigger desks as well. I used to have one, by the way. Great controller. It worked only with Pro Tools, which was a bit of a bummer. And then now with the new Pro Tools Studios, they don't support this interface in uh, silicon. So what happened is that there's a company really like the veteran in the field, they called Nayrink. And they developed an amazing uh, product that basically allows people to control whatever door almost they are using. We have like a Logic, Studio One, a Mixbus, a Ableton, Reaper. It's really cool. And today we're gonna go in and look a little bit of the basic functionalities that this thing offers. I'm blown away by the ease of use and also the installation went pretty seamless. There's really, really detailed documentation and manuals about how to do that. In the website, they also offer one month of a free trial and uh, this has been uh, mind-blowing like so easy um, i just pull up whatever do i'm working on if it's logic if it's pro tools if it's reaper everything just like wow, boom faders go up and i can start working each software has a little bit of a different functionalities different things that this thing can do for it because it is a script it's called vcontrol pro this is the name of this script or this software that nearing developed and uh, yeah let's go uh, go right in and Let's start with Reaper. Reaper, I didn't find any documentation about exactly what the functional does are in Reaper, so we're gonna do this a live run through here. So this is the controller, by the way. You have solos, you have faders. Obviously, this is all touch fader, so if I move a fader in the door, it immediately reflects in the software itself, as you can see here, and vice versa. If I change something in the controller itself, it affects the door itself. Let's have a, a bit of a bigger look of the software if i'm soloing it's really just immediately affect here look if i m move banks between faders it actually run through and it's amazing there is a there is a screen here there is a screen that shows you the names of the tracks um, and even uh, faders that run look i will uh, show you i'm pressing play from the controller and you can even see the meters are running. What's so amazing? I can solo. This is the drum track. You can control the volume. Really great stuff. Like, um, again, full full transport control as well. There is a uh, different options, uh, for example, to control the automation for each track that you select with these buttons here, because there is a screen here. And different buttons activate different things in this interface. Usually what I'm working mostly with is the faders and panner, which is great to create like a very fast balance. Another thing I really like about Reaper is that you can change the control of the master fader versus a channel. So when I press this, basically it shows me that now this fader is either controlling the master fader, you see on the left, or the actual channel it's, uh, it's assigned to. So this, this is kind of cool, you know, that I can just like switch between them, even though it's not super practical sometimes to mess with the master fader. But it's still something nice. I needed, actually needed now when I made the video to have something that will allow me to take the music down as we go, for example. Okay, now uh, I'm gonna show you like the most used function for these interfaces is automation. So let's uh, select a track. For example, I have here the piano track. Okay, and we're gonna write some kind of a basic automation for this thing without even using our mouse. So we have a button here I'm pressing on the B button on the left side up and then it shows me here four states of automation so if I put latch you can see if I'm gonna make the screen a little bit bigger that 
the, you can see that like here the automation state in Reaper changes on the channel itself. Let's do it on touch and I'm gonna make a small automation. And then, oh, we have automation go. So guys, this is about Reaper and let's move on to the next door. Hi guys, okay, so now we are in Logic and we're gonna look at the documentation provided by the website of vcontrol and you can see that there is different documentation for the different DAWs. We are now on Logic and you can see that there is a little bit of explanation of what's happening in terms of the mixer itself, what it can do in the channel strip themselves. Logic has really cool features like you can control parameters of plugins inside and we're going to uh, have a look at this. Full transport control, undo and shift undo to redo which is pretty cool. Okay we got the navigation which is about scrolling up and down through the tracks or going to right or left inside the session. We have some buttons to display the mixer and Let's, let's jump into the DAW. I'm going to show you a little bit what I'm doing. So here we are in Logic. And again, you have a really nice integration here. All the names of the channels are in place. You can change the, the screens here. Like I can change the views, you know. Sorry for my messy desktop. Full transport control, of course. And and everything is, is pretty straightforward. Let's say uh, solo the conga. I just, do the, I just did the solo from the actual controller see it's very very intuitive and i can change the volume i can mess with the panning of course and now it gets interesting if i hit the button send here then i get the first send that appeared so i can if you look at the channel itself you can see on the left side that i'm actually messing with the reverb send and it's the layout is very clear in the screen uh, itself now we even can control the first plugin in the chain so for example i have here pitch shifter okay and if i'm going to choose another track for example i'm going to go to the jump babe the moment i press select on the channel i jump into the first plugin of the chain and i can do whatever I want. I have some problems in my controller, but it has nothing to do with the software itself. The, the software works seamless. Um, I can change the attack, release, everything. Also quite handy. Personally, I'm using my touchscreen to do that. I have Slate Raven uh, 2. And the, the combination is very powerful. And by the way, also the Slate Raven is using some kind of a version of VControl. So this, this, uh, this software really changed the game for many of us. Okay, so what else do we have here? Ah, the, I want to show you the navigation. This is really cool. So I can go up and down the channels. And if you look at the, at the screen, the interface is constantly updating according to what's happening in the view. And what I really love about this one is that the moment I select a track, for example, Boom Conga, then it automatically jumps into that track uh, and show it to me, which is very, very handy. So if I go down, down, like for an, a place here and I'm selecting the vocals, I'm automatically, it updates and selects, it shows me that this is the, the vocal track that is selected. I close my eyes. And again, like I can do whatever I want with this. I can, you know, pull up the EQ. I can even mess with the, EP, with the EQ with the knobs and it's very, very comfortable. If zoom is selected, then I can make the tracks bigger or if I press to the right, I'm just zooming in, which is super convenient in the situation where it's kind of zooming on whatever you're seeing in the screen. Very, very handy. And we have a, even a record enable. So if I like, for example, select a track, I have a record enable and then very fast I can put the, the tracks that I want in record enable, very handy. And of course, full full transport control, which is very very handy for anything that you want to do um, in the session okay guys so we're gonna uh, jump to the next door okay guys so now we are in Pro Tools and I'm gonna show you a little bit what's up in Pro Tools very very sleek very fun okay so we got the solo sections everything is regular like got transport solo my piano Give it the volume, have percussion, open everything up, 
very fun to do proper balance the thing is that I really really get different results once I'm using it and I also have this slate uh, screen here and I've been trying to use their software but th with the multi-touch it's just not as fun as having a fader here and a screen here that I can make adjustments very great okay and um, what do we have here we have navigation so I can basically jump between banks of eight I can jump between individual okay and I can also zoom in and out and up and down will make the waveform bigger I mean it's kind of self-explanatory we have a full transport control here if I want to go fast uh, fast forward to the right then it's it's rather easy I just double click and then it's good or if I hold it's just like doing like this kind of nudge scroll vi vibe that's kind of cool I really like that there is like an ability to add memory location which with somebody with a small keyboard like I do is a bit of a, th a bit of a thing so I have this old classic enter key that allows me to basically make a memory location I can undo that by just hitting undo and if I want to bring it back I can have a shift function and undo and then it becomes a redo very fun let's talk for a second about the uh, sense this is one of the most easier that I have encountered yet I have five banks of sense and then once I choose one basically I'm able to kind of see what's happening send wise across the board so I can open more of my send to different things and affect wherever send I'm seeing in the screen I can control the send of that channel panning and we have also like if we hold control here we can do like a fine tune we have the different windows I can pull up like the mix and back to the edit window which is great we have all the loop functions yeah that's about Pro Tools let's move on to the next DAW okay guys so we are here in Ableton let's go over quickly the same parameters very simple again we have the basic transport control scroll right left play the song from the top okay we have basic navigation can move between tracks okay I can move right to left go into a more in-depth look and um, I have the drums very easy one thing cool about this that is that I can also see just the returns if I change the view from A to B then I have just the actually the effects you know, which is pretty cool. Very self-explanatory. And again, we can change the different views, mix, and back to the edit vi window. We have the undo redo, the same as we did before. Shift and undo to redo, undo to redo. And just, I just feel like it's just for what what we need to create balance. It's just perfect. I can I can zoom in, zoom out, and nudge in groups of eight up and down. Okay, guys. So this was Ableton. Now we're gonna jump to the next one. Okay, guys. Now I'm gonna show you kind of my favorite door for now is gonna be Luna. I really like how it feels. Let's jump in. So we got here like my session transport. This is the guitar, by the way. If, if you wanna hear a snip of how it sounds all together. Okay. So we got this guitar. Of course, we got the faders. See, this is like a classic balance between the room mics and the close mics the room 
these are the kind of things that it just happens in a second, you know, especially when you're, with, you're dealing with multi-mic drums or like things like room mics. And it's it's so convenient that you can just like use your fingers. And I want to show you the, the, my favorite feature here is the automation. Very, very straightforward. I press the B button here. I have a dialogue ask me uh, if I want to read off touch ledge. I put it on touch. And if I want to make a small automation, I can just play the song. And by the way, I need to select first of all and they because they are grouped they're both selected I change it to latch then you can see it if uh, I show you here you can see it became like red here so I can basically you can see the the, the redness here I can play it here I died finding my things kiss kiss I don't give a kiss I died okay I just did a pretty aggressive just to show you, I'm pressing play and now you can see the faders in motion. Very, 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 very fun. Did I say fun? This is what I feel about this uh, combination with with Luna. Um, everything else is happening here. You also can change the views and uh, full transport control. But again, the main, main idea is to uh, be able to control the balance between the ingredients. And I really recommend this product. I couldn't recommend it enough. And I have I have a Slate Raven. Like I have a touch screen that's supposed to take care of all the these kind of manual edits, which it does to some extent. I found the Raven great for editing plugins, okay? Because, you know, you can just move a, a button. But... Um, I didn't. I couldn't get used to uh, the way it was uh, the, with the Raven. How it uses the, the the software to map the screen of each door. It was clunky for me. This one completes the package for me. I really, really love. I really recommend this piece. It's great, and uh, you have a subscription model in the website that I think it's about fifty something bucks uh, for a year, or you can buy the pro bundle for two hundred fifty. Um, and again, I remind you, this unit used to cost, I don't know, $1,500, uh, like one five zero zero, um, And now we're talking about, uh, you can get those for 40, 50 bucks. So this with the added software, this is, makes this into a powerhouse. Works with every DAW. It's even more convenient than how it used to do because it used to be just for Pro Tools. So now, whatever, and I'm working on songs, you saw, I'm working on songs in Pro Tools, in Luna, in Ableton, in Reaper. I have different production and different softwares. Um, and, and this is just perfect for me because it's, it's one for all. So again, check it out. Link in the description. It was a pleasure to uh, be here with you today. And yeah, I hope you keep making music and enjoy your musical creation. I'm Tom Alonso. See you in the next one. Check out the stuff from Neric. They are great. <laughs>